It's not for the faint-hearted, man. No, really. It's not. It's not. And the nice thing is, most people are good. Oh, really? Most people are good. And I mean, there are many guys in there, black, white, it doesn't matter your color. Mm. Um, in Indian colored, many of them are in there for the first time and did they made a mistake like I made. For example, oh, okay. You know, they're not actual criminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happened in the spur of the moment, somebody died, somebody got hurt whatever the case may be and uh, good people you know they yeah. clean, they want to just get on with their but then I think there's something wrong with the justice system because how how do hardened criminals get away with these things and people like I said first timers who do something wrong go in like as I said to you t t two of my brothers were murdered those guys came off scot-free yeah my neighbor who defended his shop when people broke in he got five years imprisonment for beating up a guy who was breaking into yeah. his shop. It's unbelievable. And the There's something is, wrong with our justice the, system. The whole justice system, you've got two, two departments. You've got justice, mm -hmm. which is the courts. Right. And you've got corrections, which is yeah. the prisons. Yeah. Uh, both are, are run by one guy, Ronald, somebody or the other. A complete corrupt yeah. motherfucker, excuse the language, but he's a motherfucker. Really? Totally, totally corrupt man. The whole system is totally corrupt. It's corrupt, yeah. But if at, at justice now, if you have got money and you know the right people, you can buy your way out of anything. Good Lord. Anything. Um, bef about 18 months before I went to prison, before I ran away, mm. Um, I had a girlfriend, a, a colored lady, uh, who I was very, very in love with. I, I wanted to marry her, hmm. Laura, but she was but, yeah. not well. She was bipolar, but oh, often yeah. didn't take her medication. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, one day, <coughs> um, she was at work, she was a hairdresser. I was at home, and uh, her son, is a, he's got an issue, he's very aggressive. Hmm. Not sharp as soon in the shed, a uh, little bit brain damaged, very oh, okay. slow, very slow. Okay, okay. Anyway, he, I heard screaming. Now, we were staying in a big house mm -hmm. in Edenville, mm. which I was paying for, and Laura also had a terrible game, gambling problem. Oh. So all the money she made hairdressing went on to gambling. Oh, so man. I was feeding them and everything. <coughs> anyway, John was beating up his sister. Oh, he had man. a knuckle duster on his... Right, and he was, the doors had these glass panes in the bed and he was punching through them to try and get to her. <coughs> now in my room, I had a bamboo stick about this long, a right. solid one. Mm. And I went and I sorted him out. Okay, that's good. Um, anyway, they ran out the house eventually. Um, Laura came home and they went to the cops and said, I, because he cut himself here, on his arm while punching through the window. Oh, yeah, yeah. They said I attacked him with a knife. Oh, man. So I went to Boxburg waiting trial and I was there for three weeks. And in those three weeks, if we hadn't found the right lawyer yeah. to bribe the, 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 the prosecutor, the magistrate, and for my defense, I would have spent 15 years in jail for that. Good Lord. We bribed our way out of that. It cost us about 25K. Just now that's an example of how easy it is. Yeah, yeah. My court case, the one that I went to prison for, I was we had a white magistrate. Um, well, then maybe the first one you should have done the same thing if you had known. I suppose you didn't. No, went to I know. couldn't have done the same thing. But they said, yeah. don't go down that road with this guy. Oh, okay. He's one of the few people left that is still honest. Oh, I see. And he actually helped me. He didn't, in many ways, he didn't. No, me. I don't see how he helped you because, look, for me, in the first place, after your child has died, just to go to prison. That's a double sentence, man. The prosecutor man. wanted to send me for 18 years. I don't understand that. He managed to get it down to 10 years. I don't understand that. I don't understand it because they, you shouldn't even spend one single day. A friend of mine reversed over his child, baby. The child died. He can, he, there was nothing charges because it was an accident. Yeah. It's an honest no, accident. See, I, in many ways, they were right because I was negligent. I was under the influence of alcohol. How can you be negative if you're under the influence of yourself? And I didn't take her to the hospital. I looked at her, she wasn't crying, but by that time the damage had already been done. She was bleeding on the brain. Oh, I see. And she wasn't actually able to cry anymore. 
I didn't know that. I said, but you didn't know. The thing is, the fact is you didn't know. I was negligent. And it was also, as I said, at the time when there was all this hoo-ha around uh, violence against women. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like a, a patsy. Uh, yeah, you were like a guinea pig. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And uh, I actually, I mean, there were some guys who got 15 years, others got 20 years. I was lucky. You think? Lucky. No, I, I think it's wrong, man. I, I think of the guys who murdered my, my two brothers. They came off scot-free. Yeah, you see, that's wrong. That's what I'm saying. That's wrong. That's Just crazy. because they were under the influence, they were, they were on drugs. Yeah. That is the, the, the escape route for them. But that, so does, that statute doesn't, that doesn't stand anymore. That's why I don't understand. Because that, that, they called it extenuating circumstances. Circumstances, yeah. That doesn't stand anymore. And you know, the funny thing is, one of them who murdered my, bro my brother, he was one of his ex-students. <laughs> And when he was a student, my brother was the one who helped him to get to the hospital during a match. During a match, he, injured, he broke his leg. My brother was the one who rushed him to the hospital and helped him. It's the same guy turned around after a few years and murdered him. But that's drugs. They blame it on the drugs. On the drugs, yeah. yeah. Well, because when you think you're telling your story, you have a psychologist, but you're going to tell your story towards the end when you your last courses and things you better tell your story in front of a group of people, people. and the, the, the psychologist sits there and listens and questions you and and i was telling my story and uh, the one guy asked me were you drunk and i said yes i was i didn't offer the information i was embarrassed yeah and he said oh i understand yeah that made everything right exactly that's what I saw. That's how yeah. I saw it from the beginning. I thought it was it's, it's like a double sentence already. You, you've lost your child and now you must be further punished. No, no, no. For I mean, me. I slept, when I first got to prison, I slept next to a guy who was there for cannibalism. Jeez. They actually found him lying between three bodies that he was slowly eating. Good Lord. And, uh, but a hell of a nice guy. But where was this? Where, 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 where did this happen? To, where Sun, Sun City. No, I mean, where, where, was, where was he eating ah, these people? I don't know. Oh, you don't know where. Well. You Good know, Lord. he asked people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has stories. And then, yeah. as we got, he used to make my tea for me, make my bed. Whoa. What a nice man, but yeah. totally insane. Sure. Totally insane. But um, yeah. you think good people, most 